really use a ground ball. There goes the runner at second. Hit and run works perfect. That's Calhoun. He will come around and score, and the Vikings strike first. Great minds think alike. That's right. 3-2 pitch. Roped into left field for a base hit. So Cleveland State going to tack on another one. They and caught now the they runner. got the base runner in a pickle. Get the lead runner if you're the Penguins here, and they Patrick do. Patrick Williams does get the lead runner. But let them protect. Tapper through the legs of the third baseman, Calhoun. Rounding third is Lapari. He will score. And how about a double through the legs of Calhoun, and they'll rule that an error, of course. This is Leone lifting it to center. That should be enough. As the runner tags and will move to home. That's Williams, and just like that, two to two. The outfield. And you know Johnson's getting a good secondary there lead. There it is. As that one's roped into the alley. Oh, catch. what a catch. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a web gem. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. That one grabbed by Lapari in the outfield grass and made the play. He's going to steal home. Squeeze play. They're going to get him. They got him in a rundown. Now they flip it to third. Unbelievable. And Williams applied the tag a little too late. They almost get another one. From the set, there's a ground ball to short. Leon takes the high hop, on to first, got him! And the Penguins go to the bottom of the eighth and Coach Rich Pasquale is all kinds of fired up. Right in there for Johnson, here we go. Ball four, that's it. Armani will go down and touch first, but the big thing is Drew Doche touches home and that'll do it. Tough ending for Roosh and the Vikings as he walks in. The final run, and the Penguins come away with a 3-2 win when they only have two hits. And a walk-off walk. A walk-off walk.